Oh, there you go. Hi, John. Mike DeBoer, homecoming king, class president, girls Catholic. <laughs> Shock at. <laughs> Alright. I'm here to talk to you, fine people, about the physics of pirates. You know what? Let's just get right into it. If you all know my name. First thing I'm going to talk about with you, fine people, is the eye patch. As you can see here, here is somebody's face and eyeballs. <laughs> the distance between the eyeballs is 2D. Oh, there we go. And you have two lines going like this, line going like that. This here is um, theta, and this is the length to the object that you're looking at. This is paradox, I don't know, seeing <laughs> but, but if you put an eye patch there, you have you don't have that, and you cannot see depth. So you could not tell how far that object was away. Now, the let's see, what would that be called? Ah, the wooden leg. Pressure on a wooden leg, peg leg. Let's say, draw that peg leg. This is a peg leg here. Pressure equals force over area. So the pressure equals the mass of an average pirate over with times gravity over two times pi r squared. I found that with the average pirate, the pressure on the bottom of a peg leg to be 1.12 times 10 to the fifth Newtons per meter squared, as you can see here, obvious. All right, so the pirate then has to shoot a chain shot, that's two cannonballs connected by a chain, at another ship. These chains are spinning on a radius R and moving like that towards the other ship. Velocity there. The velocity going this way, that's the velocity of the cannonballs. And let's see. To calculate this, you have a force equals m times the velocity of the cannonballs over the radius here, as you can see there. And if you knew the, the velocity, you could calculate the force. All right. Now, let's say you have to board another ship. Now, you want to swing across on a rope. Let's say the height here, h, is equal to the reach of the pirate. All right, so. You want to put potential energy equals to kinetic energy. And if you have m mass times gravity times the height or the reach equal to one half of the mass times the velocity squared, the masses cancel out, and you're left with a velocity at the bottom there of 6.5 meters per second. Which then you would slow down and jump off to the other ship. But if you fell down, you would meet terrible creatures, polycrustaceans from the polyatomic era. <laughs> yes, you in the back, the idiot. You have a question? What are those? What are those? Uh, good question. Those would be Loch Ness monsters, which obviously do not exist. You can prove that with Newton's second law. <laughs> Any questions, please? <laughs> Could you run me through this rope thing again? 
this rope thing. This rope thing again. Where? What is the height? What like? The height here would be the reach to grab the rope and to swing across to the other boat. So, so we, you would grab the rope, pull it down, and you would swing across. But you have no velocity at run to the start. You just no, you don't. You just grab the rope and hold on. Okay. Maybe run a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? So where did the six point five come from? The 6.5 is the velocity at the bottom, which you got from the potential energy equaling kinetic energy. Yes? Okay, so if you're going at 6.5 meters per second at that bottom point, what's the farthest you're able to swing? How far apart can the boat be? Well, we had it at 50, 50 feet across, and you would make it to the other boat if this was in the dead center in between the boats. But just barely? Like, what are you at clear? By you would point? clear to the other mast. Can you show that? Uh, I just calculate this. If you calculate this, then yes, you would be. I would be able to show that. Can you calculate? If I had a calculator, I would be able to. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask about about the pressure of the peg leg? Yeah. Yes, you may. How how did you get that? Well, tell me what what the the relationship you ended up with in the end was. You had the force over the area. I had the force over the area. Right. What was your force and what was your pressure area? equals the force. I did the force of gravity, which is mass times gravity, which is the mass of your average pirate, which me weighing 86 kilograms, over the area or pi r, r squared. And let's say the bottom of our peg leg equals a radius of 0 0.05. But I don't know, I'm just wondering, before you had a 2 in there. 2? Yeah, yeah, you had yeah, a 2 pi r squared. Yes, I did, didn't I? <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> you have 2 letters. And that could be correct or incorrect, telling me about what the pirate, what kind of pirate it was. It was the area of the circle of the bottom of the peg leg. Aha, uh -huh, so he's. So is, is he standing on one leg or is he standing on two legs? He right? is walking, and as he walks, he puts all of his weight onto that peg leg. For, for the, the cannonballs connected by the chain, Yes. can, can you help me out with the units on, on the formula you have for the force? Um, I got uh, the mass of the cannonballs right. connected by the chain. And so that would have units of what? Uh, that would be in kilograms. That would be in kilograms, okay. And then the radius is the radius to the center of mass, and the velocity is how fast this is. And so what would the radius be in? What? What would the radius be in? The radius would be in the centimeters. In centimeters? Okay, we can have it in centimeter. And what's the velocity going to be in? Uh, the velocities would be in meters uh, per second. So when you put all that together, what do you end up with for units? Uh, you end up with. Um, you end up with joules. No. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what we have, you, you just told me, was we ended up with stuff with with a, a distance on the top and a distance on the bottom, so those would cancel, and all we're left with is, is kilograms per second. Yes, we are left with that, aren't we? So that's what we're left with. That's so what what might we do to that <laughs> equation to make it so we can get it into newtons, which might be the correct unit? Uh, what we might be able to do uh, would be to obviously shoot this and then kill them and then flip it back and then confusing question. Thank you. <laughs>